So you have showed the business plan to someone or you have been through uh, the business presentation. Now is the time for you to do what? Okay. So a lot of time I have seen as well, a lot of people, they show the business presentation, they go through the, uh, all the efforts of taking someone through the process of, uh, you know, um, starting a conversation or initiating a conversation to, um, you know, booking up an appointment to show the business plan. And then after the business plan, you know, they don't know what to do and they just leave their prospect halfway in between. So that is a kind of a sheer waste of a lot of efforts. So now you have to understand uh, what exactly you need to do after you show the business plan. Okay, it may be a face-to-face, -face, uh, you know, you sat down with someone and showed the business plan uh, to that person, uh, you know, on a pad and pen, or you went through uh, a web presentation, you invited that person to a Zoom call, Zoom meeting, or an online uh, kind of, uh, you know, Google meeting, uh, you went through the slides, then uh, it's extremely important that, uh, you know, uh, I was um, uh, reading with one of the quote of, um, I think um, it was um, one of the uh, Americans, uh, American billionaire, um, I think Grant, Grant Cardone. He says that the money is not in selling, but the money is in closing. Okay, so that's quite uh, an important statement if you try to understand. So it's, uh, you know, it's not about the presentation you did and how good a presentation you did and how eloquent you are in the business presentation, but what matters is uh, how do you close it? Are you able to close it or not? Okay, so now let's, this is a video which, uh, you know, will uh, we'll walk you through so that you understand um, what exactly you should do and why you should do more, more importantly so that, you know, it's crystal clear in your head, okay? So those of you who do not know, my name is Som, uh, Som Prakash. I am an entrepreneurship coach and, um, a, and a coach for network marketers. I help network marketers and entrepreneurs to scale their business, to grow their business, uh, you know, um, to multiple different countries um, and uh, to scale to a significant level. And today we are going to discuss about this specific topic of network marketing business. If you are in a network marketing business, you do the presence presentation, what to do next. Now, this is not exactly only for network marketing business. If you do any kind of a business, business presentation, you speak to anyone, you did a pitching, you pitch um, you know, your business ideas to a group of um, angel investors or um, you know, um, uh, VC funding for venture capitalist, uh, you know, you had uh, a, um, uh, a presentation, to, uh, you did it to them. Or on, on LinkedIn, you got connected with someone and you just, uh, you know, shared some, uh, you know, some of your business credentials. But very important for you to understand then what to do next. Okay. So now this is what we are going to discuss today. So, in, especially in a, in a network marketing business, what exactly you will be doing is uh, you haven't done a business presentation until and unless you have a follow-up appointment booked for that person. That's extremely important, okay? So now let's try to understand, uh, you know, the, the concept here so that we will dive into it, okay? So after the business presentation is done, okay, one of the most important thing which I have seen some of my team members as well, I was not doing as well, is signing up that person if somebody is ready to launch, okay? So what is stopping you to register someone, okay? Now, only because you have been advised that, okay, you have to have a follow-up session book doesn't mean that if somebody is ready to launch the business, you don't get him started, okay? That, that is... Uh, so foolish of you, okay, or so, so foolish of me not to do that, okay, so I would suggest that if somebody is ready, hey, just get that person started, okay, and not only get him started or get him lost in this business, but you just have to make sure that you have uh, an appointment booked in his calendar and your calendar, what to do next, okay, so now if, if you understand the network marketing business is all about one meeting to another meeting, 
okay so you should always any person you invite for any any uh, business appointment you have with someone so you should have or he should know as well what exactly uh, you know is the next course of action okay so that means uh, what exactly that person is doing uh, you know next and when is the next appointment so that means from one meeting to the another meeting and what is the course of action uh, he or she has to follow okay what is it? this is something you are you are going to do and this is something we are going to again meet up and we discuss about blah blah blah, blah or whatever we are going to discuss so that is quite important okay so signing up so that means get some uh, the person started if somebody is ready to launch the business next thing is um, address their self limiting belief if somebody is not already ready to launch the business okay now we are expecting people to sign up people to get launched in this business but does it always happen that way not really probably a lot of time you'll find that uh, you know um the lesser number of people will be joining the business right away and uh, you will have um, more number of people who are looking for some more information we call it amber light okay or we call it a green light or somebody is a red light okay now somebody is green light so that means we just sign that person up right away okay so signing up somebody is a amber light or a red light so that means if somebody uh, amber light most of the time if somebody has gone through this process most of the time you'll find that they would be amber if not green or red will be amber so that means that person understand the business model but uh, he or she is not able to take a decision whether that business is for him or not whether he or she will be able to build this business or not that person has some questions now is that something wrong with having question not really all of us even i had a lot of questions as well so having question is quite natural and i think we should uh, you know everyone should have some questions okay so uh questions are usually of two um, different areas so one or two different uh, you could say you know perspective one is a self limiting belief so that means that person understand his business model and it works or not uh, you know that means after going through the presentation after seeing so many successful people hopefully you have been through you have shown uh, you know him that success of other people and uh, sh uh, shown him uh you know all uh, you know a bigger association that means that person is convinced and know that the business works but self limiting beliefs are that person think that whether i can build it or not okay the business works there is no question about it but i okay so when is that person say that whether i can build this business or not that means the person has legitimate questions that uh, you know probably uh, you know i am too young to build this business i am too old to build the business i i am uh, not good with people i have a full time job i have a family there are so many different reasons and excuses people may have okay now which uh, you know i i just said is excuses for someone if, if the, these are the excuses for someone for other people you know that may be the reason as well what does that mean so that means if someone is saying that okay i don't have any time to build this business like because i'm so busy where can i find the time but somebody who has a winning attitude as a positive attitude for that person uh, you know you would find out okay um, if i don't have any time now when i'll will i uh, have time to build this business that means i definitely need to build this business so that i can have more time in future okay so that i i can um, you know um i build it in my spare time in this business so that i'll have more time to enjoy with my family or my friends or you know i enjoy, enjoy and uh, travel around the world so these are the different reasons so as you always see that reasons and excuses they are the uh, two sides of the same coin okay so however if somebody has that self limiting belief that a person uh, is not able to then i would suggest you answer them okay so that's very very important that every question needs to be addressed every objection has to be addressed and how do you address get these questions addressed is um, answering their hidden questions and their self limiting beliefs by story okay so what does the uh, uh, what the story means so what do i mean by that so that what i mean is let's take for an example if someone you went through the business presentation with and the person is coming back saying that 
um, I have a full-time job, how can I build this business? Then what you need to do is that means that person is saying, okay, business plan is good, but I will sign up, but I have this question. That's it. Once you answer the question, probably that person is all ready to start the business. So you just have to answer the question, just bridge the gap. So how do you bridge the gap? By sharing somebody a story, okay? Testimonial of some, okay? So what is the story? So story means it could be my own story or your own story, or it could be of somebody else you know, okay? Now, a lot of time you may not have the story or you may not have that same um, uh, sort of objection what this person has or same question we, uh, you know, which uh, this person has. Um, you may not have that. Or you, uh, you know, when you started the business, you didn't have that question, but you may know other people who that person can relate to uh, and uh, that person may have the question, okay? Uh, and how that person got, got his questions answered. Let me give you an example. So just like the way we mentioned about somebody saying that, okay, I have a full-time job, can I, can I build it? So if I build the business, uh, you know, along with my full-time career, then what do I say? Hey, uh, John, uh, you know, I can understand that's a valid question because I had the same question. We call it feel, felt, and found. Okay, feel, felt. I know how you feel. So that means I, I can understand you completely what your question is. You know, what I felt, okay, because I, I went through that same thing and I, I, I uh, also thought that I could not do it as well. But then what I figured out, so that is what, you know, you are going to share. And that is your story. Okay, everyone has, has its own story. Now, if somebody says that, okay, so is a, you know, let's say um, uh, stay at home mom, okay, and um, uh, that person wants to build it, but she doesn't know that whether, you know, she will be able to, okay, she has a little one at home and she has to take care of a few household things as well, would she be able to? So now you may not be, a, uh, you know, or I am not a, you know, from, uh, full-time mom, uh, stay-at-home mom, but I uh, can give that person, give her, the person who has that objection, an audio, okay, or an audio podcast, or, or you know, if you need audio recording, or if you still use audio CD, or even testimonial copies, you know, that are, um, you know, you if your company has a printed material where you know you see that different profiles of people and their success, uh, they, they publish it uh, you know um, on a annually basis uh, based on the recognition. If somebody ac accomplished different levels in this business, your company may be publishing those uh, somewhere on the website or uh, uh, print printed kind of a material. So what you do is you just uh, print it out or you take a screenshot or you take that link of that website and you, you send that person saying that, hey, uh, you know, Julie, or hey, I know whoever is a single mother. Is a, okay, you know what? Uh, and that's a very valid question. As a matter of fact, I just wanted to uh, show you someone. Okay, then I show, um, you know, the photo and the uh, picture and the, you know, writings, uh, the recognition of someone just like herself, a single mother or a stay-at-home mom how she built the business to a certain level, how she was recognized. So guess what happens then? This person started to believe, oh, wow, that, that means somebody else, uh, you know, is just like me, started the uh, business, uh, you know, as a single mother or as a stay-at-home mom or whatever that is. And then she has accomplished the, the success, I could as well, okay? So that is what you need to address. That is called a story-based answering the question. So story. Why, uh, you know, from ancient uh, age, uh, you know, I would say that from the stone age as well, okay, we human beings, we are, we love stories, okay? Even if you have grown up, uh, you are a grown up adult, all of us like stories because that is kind of a part of our gene, okay? Uh, we, we love stories. And when you take someone, uh, you know, through a story, okay, that person, you know, you just grab that at, and the attention of that person, that person is sold out. So always make sure the story and why that is also as another, um, uh, you know, human, human phenomena, yeah, I would say that uh, that's involved is, um, you know, on a, in, a, in a story that is emotion involved, okay? When you, uh, you know, you can pass on the emotion um, to someone, then probably, you know, you, you own that person, you know, you, that person will definitely, 
um, you know, um, be taking the decision the way you want that person to or guide, uh, you know, you, you can guide that person the, the in a way it um, best uh, of, of best interest to him. And also eventually it will be of good interest, uh, best interest to you as well. Okay. So that is what you need to do. So answering their hidden questions. So when I say hidden questions as well, a lot of time people may come up with the question or they may not come up with the question as well. Okay. So then what? So you as a smart uh, business um, businessman or businesswoman, you have to make sure that you understand okay, that person's um, objection or that hidden questions. Okay. How do you make sure that you understand that person? The only way you can do that is uh, with conversation. When you converse it, when you speak to that person, then only you will be able to know more about that person. Okay. Hidden questions and story. And then next is you just have to hand over some merchandise. Okay. Um, if you are talking about the story or giving examples and, uh, you know, showing um, um, the testimonial of someone else and success of someone else, which I would highly recommend, that becomes a story. Then you give someone an audio, okay? That means a recording, uh, you know, or a website uh, page, or or uh, you know, uh, you know, a book, okay? There are books as well. You know, some of the organized network marketing companies they publish or they use, uh, you know, use books to to address it, okay? So uh, so that is what we can we can do as well. So. Um, and the next thing is uh, booking an appointment, okay? So after you give the, um, you know, books and audios and the, all the merchandise, okay, so that's very, very important that you give it out, okay? That, hey, you go through that. I have that, uh, I had that uh, same question or you, you love it, you know, you go through this website or check this website out. Um, but the more important uh, thing is uh, booking up an appointment with that person. That means uh, 24, I suggest 24 to 48 hours. Okay, 24 to 48 hours, that means in a day or two maximum. Why a day or two? Because after 24 to 48 hours, that person would not be remembering my name, their business plan, our conversation, nothing. Why? Because life has caught up, okay? And you know, our brain has this uh, functionality inbuilt, which it has to eliminate, okay, uh, some uh, uh, data to gather or to uh, or to capture new data. Okay, that is extremely important. Okay, so you have to make sure that uh, you know um, that person uh, has that uh, you know the still uh, the business, its ideas and the concepts and our conversation. It is still fresh in his head okay so then we can get get started and uh, you know um, uh, book an appointment uh, you know with that person after 24 to 48 hours so that we can go back and uh, see if that person still has some more questions or not okay because we gave them the literature we gave them the audio we showed them the uh, you know business uh, you know um, uh, portal and then we are uh, booking up an appointment and seeing that, okay, if that person is ready or not. And if that person still has that question, still have some objections, what do I need to do then? Well, if, if that person still has that question and still have any objections, what, what I need to do is uh, I just, uh, you know, um, address, uh, you know, then and there. And uh, then I will see that, okay, what, uh, what else I could give, what other information I could, I could give to, to address uh, his uh, you know, questions, but my objective is not to sign him up. Uh, you know, in the business partner as a business partner, my objective is I genuinely um, want that person to become successful in this business, and that is the reason why I want uh, uh, want him to uh, you know I want him to uh, understand the concept and to understand the business model uh, completely, so that he's not mis misled and he's taking an informed decision. Okay. So guys, uh, you know, if you do not know already, you know, I wrote this book called Launch to Leadership. Uh, this is a book which is, uh, you know, also available on Amazon. But if you want a free copy of this book, uh, you know, the PDF uh, copy of this book. Uh, and also, if you want to be a part of our um, Facebook group, okay? So you will, uh, once you get into our Facebook group, completely free Facebook group, where you will have a lot of, uh, you know, interaction, 
Um, so let me just uh, share what you get uh, in this uh, free Facebook group. Okay, so you'll get uh, you know uh, this this book, 200 pages. Uh, you know that's the launch leadership. Uh, you know uh, ebook. You'll get it. Uh, you know in uh, our Facebook group. You'll have exclusive access to your members training. You'll have a weekly question and answer sessions in uh, the Facebook group. We'll have monthly challenges uh, as well, where you know you will be forced to take action. We'll have free business tools and journals uh, you can download and uh, you can utilize it in your in your business to just uh, you know grow your business really fast. You will have all the help. You will have a community there who will be there to help you uh, you know uh, with all your questions and uh, you know I will be there as well uh, to answer your question. But you will have a phenomenal team of people there who have a lot of experience. They have been through the process. What you are going through, they will get your questions answered. Okay. And then we'll have a lot of uh, events. We have online events, offline events. You will have exclusive members access to the, these, uh, you know, um, uh, events as well. And you will have also. We have. We are starting a book club as well inside that uh, Facebook group where you will have access to the book club as well. So that if you want to discipline, um, you know, if you want to discipline yourself, then uh, you know, you in reading and. Uh, keeping your mind positive, then the book club, you can join as well. So if you want to uh, get all these freebies and, uh, you know, this free book as well, uh, make sure you click on the link, which you will find in the description and the YouTube or, you know, you are on the Facebook, then you just uh, click on the sign up button and you will be able to join the Facebook group where you will have access to all these material for you. Okay. With that, I am done and keep growing, guys. Uh, be an entrepreneur. It's an amazing uh, uh, you know, journey to become an entrepreneur and to grow and become successful in entrepreneur. Wish you all the best. See you in the Facebook group. With that, over and out, guys.